Hello, beautiful Geminis. Welcome back. Gemini, let's get straight to your messages. Gemini. Messages, please, for the beautiful Geminis. Messages for Gemini. Whoa. Limitation is power. Lean into your limitations. It's telling you to make a change. Be the portrait of divine beauty. You're a work of art. Weird. Let's do this again. Hey, Spirit, what are you up to? <laughs> Let the energy of love. It's telling you to see the world through the eyes of love. Have it in your heart. Silence your mind. Let it guide somebody's Ego is getting the better of them, and it's telling you to surrender and see the world through the eyes of love. All of us have an ego. Every single one of us. Hmm. This is the cosmos. So the ringmaster of scrutiny is here. Somebody is getting some kind of discernment or clarity about something. This is the power of the divine is stepping in. Hmm. There is a high lady of love and compassion here who is rising like a phoenix. Somebody has been making false promises and there is an awful lot of lion energy in this reading. In fact, there is a lion. Somebody is scrutinizing. Let's see what's going on. Somebody doing some kind of candle magic. This is the High Lady of Love and Compassion who is rising like a phoenix. What's going on here? There is somebody else who has been very deceptive here. There's another feminine involved here. Oh, shit. Somebody has been scrutinizing someone here. Looking like a high priestess. This is the late high lady of love and compassion here. But man, when they sh close off their emotions... What's going on? This is a star seed or a healer. What's 
because there's another lover involved. They may have a prince, a, a child. That they're being deceptive about or that they are there's going to be a shit storm here somebody could be trying to stop this person is a leader They pulled out. They walked away from a disaster. They walked away. They could have been left out in the cold. This person is reaping what they have sown. And they're worrying. Someone is, hmm, what the hell is going on here? They might have ended things because there is a child involved or children involved. This is, holy shit, they love this person. This is the high lady of love and compassion. They don't do nasty things. They don't wish ill will on anybody. Some kind of... They got good karma, man. They are just, they are fair, very loving, reverent, compassionate. High Lady of Service. They could be a tarot card reader or they could be someone who is just vibing really high, like very compassionate, very reverent, generous. They could have had sex with someone else. This is discernment. Third party. So this person ended a relationship when they still had feelings for this high lady of service. This person is making false promises. They were juggling. This is someone regretting being in regret of their ego, regretting. This is someone very independent. This is someone very confident. 
They're jealous. Someone's jealous here. Yeah, the spirit is stepping right on whoever this um, devil energy is. It's like the spirit's stepping right over on them. person is running so fucking fast they may have fell off the balcony They didn't get away with much. They got away with the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Swords, and the Eight of Swords. They fell right into a trap. They was running so hard from this high lady of value over here that they ran right into the Ten of Wands, the Eight of Swords, and the Ten of Swords. They're under judgment. false promises. King of Wands. Promise commitment, but got selfish, arrogant, ghosted. <laughs> Put them in a competition. Oh my God, they're fake. False promises. They were playing. The ringmaster of scrutiny. person is full of false promises here. Why is it that they're longing? Why is it that they're longing for their soulmate? Why are they sitting there? It's 
the power of the divine. The hell are they waiting for? The divine to do something? The cosmos to do something? No, they got to do it on their own. This is something that they were figuring the divine would take care of. The, you know, putting it on the divine's plate to do their work. Like, putting it on the divine. Saying, like, it will, you know, if God wants me to be with um, this high lady of service over here that... I have to, I'm just going to wait and wish. I'm just going to wait for the divine to reunite us or something like that. No, it's got to be, they got to take the actions. Hey, they took the actions on what they did. They can damn well clean up their own mess, spirits going. You did all the actions and now you're sitting here waiting for the divine to step in? This doesn't work that way. The divine is not going to step in. It was this person's actions that got them into the situation that they're in. And now they're just sitting there waiting for divine intervention or waiting for the divine to get them out of the shitstorm that they got themselves into. They're going to be waiting forever because the divine is not going to step in and correct their life. They have to correct their own life. Spirit's like, you think you're so smart. You're so wise. You're so discerning and scrutinizing everything. Well, the divine isn't stepping in. You you made your bed, you lay in it. Or get yourself out of that spirit, Sam. Is what are you waiting for? Wishing. At the wishing well, waiting for like their their wish to come true or waiting for this high late they're gonna wait. Forever waiting for this empress to go reach out. They're not going to do it. And then they're waiting for like the divine to, to step in and correct their bloody mess they made. It doesn't work that way. They got to make amends. They're under judgment. So like they're waiting for like God to do something in their life when it's them who's got to talk the talk and walk the walk. They got where they are. They didn't ask God then. So now they, they're in a big trouble and a big mess. And it's like they're waiting for God to intercede. It don't work that way. God is not going to intercede. Not on their behalf. They got themselves in this shit storm. They can get themselves out of it. It's like their ego is like too big here. This is the lady of the gift, but they're withholding. They're not giving that love that they used to give. Th they have the gift. They have the light, but they're not giving it to this person. Karma will kick ass here. You reap what you sow. And this person is sitting here waiting for God to 
miraculously get them out of the situation they got themselves into. And it's not going to work that way. they got to get off their hiney, swallow their pride, and get themselves out of the mess they created. The vine's not going to do that for them. This person is like, well, if they loved me, they would come fight for me. If they loved me, they would do this. They would do that. They would come to me. No, they got to swallow their ego. That's what they got to do. They're going to be waiting forever, sitting there waiting like that. They got to bury their ego, man. I'm just saying. Like, they're literally waiting for God to do it for them. Well, if there was a God, God would do it for me. God would free me from this karmic relationship I got myself into. It, you know, if, if put it on God, make your own damn decisions in this life. Don't put it on God. That makes me mad. Take care.